I'm coming in hot. Amid farmers' woes, NFA hikes pale aid prices, lowers rice retail costs. By Gabriel Pabico Lalu. Manila, Philippines. The National Food Authority, NFA Council has approved lowering the prices of NFA rice to 27 pesos per kilogram by flooding the market with at least 3.6 million bags of rice, according to the Department of Agriculture, DA. Agriculture Secretary William Dar said in a statement on Thursday, September 12, that the move, which would earn 4.86 billion pesos for NFA allows the agency to buy pele from local farmers at a higher price, from just 17 pesos to 19 pesos per kilo of clean and dry pele. Dar, who chairs the NFA Council, said he also ordered NFA Administrator Judy Carlo Dansel to dispose of the stocks on or before October 10. The 2 peso increase in pele price support can translate to 8,000 pesos additional income per farmer, based on the current national average yield of 4 tons per hectare, the DA said. Dar also noted that 31 local government units have committed to directly buy pele from farmers within their jurisdiction. The DA was also looking at a partnership with the Department of Social Welfare and Development, DSWD which may distribute 10 FA rice instead of the 600 peso cash allowance to Pangdaid Pamaliang Pilipino program for peace beneficiaries. The DSWD has the option to buy either from the LGUs or from the NFA, providing farmers an assured market for their produce, the department added. Farmers have complained that the demand for locally produced grains have been low, after the enactment of the rice tariffication law which opened the Philippine market to importation of foreign rice. The law was authored by Senator Cynthia Villier, and was signed by President Rodrigo Duterte last February. It was seen as a solution to high rice prices blamed on a shortage of NFA rice. Lawmakers said that the measure has been a total failure, as it did not address the root cause of rice shortage and pressing needs in the farmlands. A consumer group has warned that the continuous implementation of the rice tariffication law may result in total market failure, as rice prices have yet to decrease significantly while the country is flooded with supposed substandard grains. These problems have prompted the DA to urge NFA to study Pele production costs side by side with the Pele pricing. During the NFA Council meeting, NFA was also directed to undertake a comparative Pele production cost study per region to come up with a basis for a more responsive and precise rice and Pele pricing policy to be set by the NFA Council, DA explained. Write your thoughts in the comments below. Source Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.